Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I am Aman from Kitchen Craft and today I will be showing you how you can get a good quality render on a standard or a low end PC. So let's get started with this video. So as you can see guys, we are in the 3D Max now and as you can see this is the interface and here it is a model that I have prepared this is basically a model of the kitchen so i'll show you how you can get an enhanced quality of the render first but before that i will show you uh, how render comes out with its standard uh, settings or uh, stock settings of the 3ds max and how you can get its improved quality on a low end pc so i'll just set up it for the render process we'll go to the camera by pressing c and V-Ray Cam 1 Shift plus F and now from here this icon or Shift plus Q we can start the render so let's begin with that so yes here it is guys as you can see the render has been finished now and yes, as you can see here there are still these little dots sparkles on the image uh, although the it gets us the idea how the thing will look but it is not very in good quality and it is also not clear so what are the things that we can do to make it uh, better okay then now i'll show you all the things that we can do firstly uh, after closing all the render windows just right click on anywhere on the 3d Max and it convert it to v-ray scene converter it will ask you a pilot a box will open and just convert it do not take any of it just convert it once it is converted to v-ray scene converter then we will go to here at the top bar where rendering is written click on it and open render setup so once it's open go in the common here you can adjust the pixel width. i am using 1820 by 1420 here and we will go to v-ray in the v-ray you see a global switches just untick the dis displacement and under that come to image sampler so in image sampler uh, where the type is written this instead of progressive uh, use bucket and it is done now come to gl here in the primary engine uh, instead of use source use the radiance map so uh, here it is guys that was it and for the sparkle thing uh, go into the render elements, add and find the V-Ray Denoiser here it is, you can see V-Ray Denoiser add now the, uh, our camera is ready and we'll start with the render so as you can see guys the render has been finished but still it lacks the quality also the sparkle that was coming before has been vanished completely and it has enhanced the look little bit but as you can see here this is a reflective acrylic sheet but it is not uh, clear so we just need to add a little bit of light so it can come out really good so what we are going to do here is let's go back to our interface and in this top frame we will add a V-Ray right so let's go here instead of automatic uh, select v-ray v-ray light and here the type is plain and just draw a simple light over here like this and adjust it accordingly so we'll just keep it a little bit below the ceiling here it is okay and okay, so just uh, give a value of 300 here and nothing much to do so we'll just begin with the render again the quality will be much better now so as you can see guys here we are finished with this render and now you can see the quality from the previous renders has been improved drastically and thus these were the basic settings that you can use to get a high quality render on your stocked or basic pc so thanks for watching guys and if you like the video 
please support my channel by subscribing it and i'll bring you more informative content to watch my recent videos you can just go to the playlist section and watch how to design your kitchen and other things about the kitchen thank you guys for watching